Okay, this is a video of the shop car before and after we change the rear springs to accommodate more weight for a plug-in hybrid conversion. Here's the current look of the car. Not too bad. This is the stock height. Not very exciting. Oh, there's me. Hey. Me, she was already pulled out the back. Part of this is already happening because we're doing the conversion, but you can see the upper uh, fasteners for the top of the struts, just for your information, are up here. Now we're going to go up in the air and pull it out. Here are the rear struts before we've replaced them. So here are the rear struts removed. You can see the factory springs. And then here are some springs that we had made at Valley Spring Works in Dixon, California. They're actually uh, directly based on uh, the factory spring design, so they're going to be a direct fit. So we're going to install those now. Okay, we have now installed the springs. We can see that the ride height on the back end of the car is significantly higher with uh, the back end of the car empty. This is essentially what it would look like without putting a battery pack in it or other cargo um, that typically overweighs the suspension. Okay, so I am now going to take all of my um, bags from my holiday vacation and put them in the back of the car to see how it responds to that, which I think is about 150 pounds worth of baggage. And uh, then I think one of us is going to sit in the back of the car and we'll sit really how it looks um, when the uh, plug-in kit is eventually in it. So let's check it out. I think this play is big. Okay. Well, that looks still a little bit high. Aha! Very good. And that is nearly stock. I mean, I think if we were to compare that against the other one, that'd be pretty close. 